Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coda here. Uh, I have a new tutorial for you guys today. It is putting your color correction on your Element 3D text. So, let's get started. So, what you want to do is open up After Effects, uh, create a new composition. Once you create a new composition, uh, drag in your cinematic, drag it down to the timeline. Once you do that, you need to motion track it with either the 3D camera tracker, uh, Buju, or the tracker by uh, the Foundry. If you do not know how to motion track, go to my last tutorial that I did on my channel. Uh, I teach you how to motion track. So once you've watched that video, uh, come back to this video. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So come up to this text tool, uh, write in whatever text you want. Um, put Coda, put it anywhere. Turn that layer off. Go up to Layer, New, Solid. Type in Element. Press OK. Go to Effects. Type an element. And drag that on the element layer. And uh, once you do that, go to your cinematic layer. And Control D to duplicate it. And then go on the bottom one. Go up to Layer. Recompose. Name this environment. Leave all the attributes in the cinematic. Okay. Press OK. Double click your environment. And. Uh, you can freeze, fra freeze frame it anywhere. I'm just going to freeze frame it right here. So right click it, go up to time, go to freeze frame, and there you go. Now go back to your uh, cinematic composition, and I'm going to trim both of these layers so it doesn't look so messy. Alright, now go to your element, go to custom layers, custom text and masks, go to your text, close that out, go to your custom texture maps go to environment and close that out and close that out now go to scene setup extrude your text and here it is cool now you can put on any preset bevel or material on it uh, I find it works best with a really um, shiny like I guess like gold or a chrome um, but you can mess around in like a bevel settings um, if I click on this you can mess around in the settings to change some things to uh, make it the way you want I guess I'm just going to put on a chrome and uh, that looks good. So go up to environment, drop down the arrow, put on environment, and you should have your environment. That looks cool. Alright, I'm going to press OK. And uh, I'm going to get the text to where I want it. So I will be back when I get it to where I want it. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I got the text to where I, um, I want it. So yeah. Once you do that and everything, uh, let's go on to the next step. So, go back to your environment layer and uh, go up to layer, new, adjustment layer. Then you want to type in looks and drag looks onto the adjustment layer and uh, press edit and wait for Magic Bolt looks to um, set up and uh, in everything to load up I guess sorry it's being so slow alright cool now um, if you want a rainbow like kind of a rainbow kind of color on your 3d text uh, I can't take full credit for this idea Baker did do this in one of his tutorials so if you want rainbow text go look on uh, Baker's channel for uh, his tutorial. Uh, I, the link will be in the description for his video. Um, so if you want a color correction then on your text, then go to your looks and go to any uh, color correction you want. I'm just going to go to Baker's and uh, Camo's um, color correction pack. And I'm going to put on uh, just a dubstep color correction just to um yeah finish and there it is now go back to your cinematic layer and there you go you have your color correction on your text and this works on any color correction that you put on it so yeah it doesn't uh really matter I guess you can put some really nice over edits kind of color corrections it really gives it a really nice effect um but yeah uh that was the tutorial and uh i hope you guys liked it 
uh, if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up and uh, comment and everything and uh, I will see you guys in the next tutorial see you guys later